Hi Leo, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel, Leo. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's get into it, Leo. All right, so Leo, keep in mind that I am live here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can come to the collective reading uh, to ask questions or just come for the collective reading every time I'm live Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night. All right. So thank you God for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. Let's get into it. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the true gem card and then we have open relationship. All right. So, um, this is somebody not being on the same page here. Okay. Um, somebody is, uh, <sighs> Look, somebody understands that maybe they found a really good thing in another person. Okay, they found a really true gem here, but somebody wants an open relationship. Or they, they want to keep their options open or they are keeping their options open. Uh, somebody doesn't want to take their relationship to the next level. Maybe engagement, marriage, moving in together, so forth. Um, it says expect the least, expect the person that you, okay, expect the least expected person to uh, surprise you. Okay. Um, it comes out of nowhere, but at the same time, it seems as if it, it, you guys are on the same wavelength. You're not on the same plane here because somebody wants to surprise one with maybe engagement, moving in together, taking relationships to the next level, but somebody then wants to keep the relationship open. So we're going to see what this is about here. Um, somebody also could be saying, look, I'll, if I, um, if I uh, propose to them or propose something to them, then possibly they'll close this open relationship and we'll be together exclusively. So keep that in mind also, Leo. Um, that could be you. It could be another person here. Let's see what's really going on here. What is the advice for Leo here? What is the advice for Leo? What, okay. Um, yeah, the cards want you to know there's something better here. Okay, so if you are... You know, um, if you are here wanting the relationship to go to the next level, keep in mind there's something better, okay? And you have abundance at the bottom of the deck. So you you have other options. If you don't see them, look again. Put yourself out there. Do know that there is an abundance of options. There's abundance of opportunity. Um, do understand that, okay? Um, don't relegate yourself to a situation where you and another person are just not on the same level. Therefore, there is contention between the two of you or there is, um, you know, a, a competing, a competing goals, uh, opposing wills where somebody's trying to be, maybe even you trying to be dominant and try to put your will on the other person or vice versa. This is what they're doing to you. Um, learn to accept here also. Let's see what is really going on. What is the outcome for Leo this week? What is the outcome for Leo this week? Let's see. Oh, okay. And we have the five of pentacles. All right. So um, the temperance card at the bottom of the deck. Again, learning to accept. Okay. With the temperance card at the bottom of the deck. Learning to um, get in control of your emotions. Um, that feminine and that masculine side. Accept what is flowing to you. Okay. Um, salvage your, your relationship as best as possible. If it turns into a friendship, if it turns into just, um, maybe you guys working towards, um, this type of energy, uh, the five of pentacles, you could feel ignored, you know, not acknowledged. You can feel like the energy of the relationship has been in this for too long. It's been in a place of lack, lack of confidence of it moving forward. Somebody's just not confident in the fact that it can move forward. Um, it's been here too long. Therefore it's like, well, let's just salvage what we have, you know? So if, um, this part is good, let's just focus on this. Maybe we're, we're good together in terms of, um, hanging out and we like the company that we, you know, we like each other's company. We don't have to take it here just yet. Um, but let's just keep it where it is. Um, somebody's going to come to terms with the fact that they can't rush it or they can't force something here with the temperance card. Uh, temper your emotions also in terms of maybe you may hear something that you don't want to hear and it excites you. It excites you to maybe um, being hurt and your feelings being hurt, you being down. Um, there's also somebody needs to balance out their emotions. Somebody balances their emotions with drinking, alcohol, drugs, 
um, somebody's in a real low place here with the five of pentacles in the temperance card. Okay. Um, somebody, yeah, somebody has somebody else. Somebody knows this. Okay. And it's got them in this place or, uh, they're thinking that somebody wants someone else here with the open relationship here. It's like somebody is two people, not on the same, same page, not on the same plane, you know, um, Therefore, there's discord between the two of you, okay? Um, you know, a bit of drama. Somebody also could be like a drama queen or drama king, especially when they start drinking with the temperance card. Somebody doesn't know when. Know when. That is the advice here and the outcome is, look, just be happy with what you have. Whatever it may be, salvage it. And be happy and content with it where it is because you can't force this, whatever it may be. This is what I have for you, Leo. Do know that things can get better. Um, let's put some hearts down in the comment section if this resonates for you. Um, and we want healing to happen. Let's put some healing hearts down there. Um, let's put some bandages down there if we can. Um Let's put some praying hands so that we can salvage and come, you know, let uh, the, the divine step in, um, give it over to divine. It also talks about patience and timing um, so that we can manifest corporately. You don't have to throw the baby out with the bathwater, but you just have to understand that you can't force anything. Okay. Let the divine, the universe bring whatever is supposed to come to you. Okay. Cause there is something better, whether it's better with, said individual or without i don't know get your own personal reading um also yeah go over to the website get your own personal reading uh, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below you can also catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time you could uh, purchase something from my amazon wish list um it's things for the the channel like tarot cards and so forth um also, you could buy me a coffee. If you feel like you took something from the reading, you could give back. Buy Elle a coffee. The link is below, guys. Happy holidays. Um, see you on the next reading. Thank you. Take care.